Amazing. A lot of a lot of to unpack there. So let me just to recap. Now, three integral parts of a good social media post is you need to invoke that emotion, provide value, and make sure it's in interesting at the same time. Right. Which was, you know, um, the viral story that you shared with us had all those three in there. Had a lot of emotion, had some value in there, and it was super interesting. So, um, so you have 330, uh, 323,000 followers on TikTok. You have 1 million followers on Instagram and 116,000. The thousand subscribers on YouTube, plus you have your own uh, internal communities, and you probably are active in other social medias that we're not aware of. At least these are just the right. top ones. Mm. So you've obviously figured out some magic from below for how to leverage social media and videos to work to your advantage. Um, can you share with us, you know, big picture, three kind of important things that you think is so so crucial for young lawyers or any anybody who wants to make social media work for them? What are Top three things that they should be aware of. Um, of course, and in, you know, one of the things that um, that uh, I was fortunate enough is I was able to connect with some of the actual platforms. So, for example, TikTok early on invited me to go to TikTok to visit, and um, I think I was lawyer number eight on TikTok when they when they started, and now there's hundreds of lawyers over there, obviously. But I think one of the things that I continue to be part of their creators um, uh, incubator where we meet once a month and they share their inside information and what they want for video creators right now, specifically on short form video, which we can start with that. When I mean short form video is video less than a minute, sometimes less than 30 seconds. Right now, the most popular videos on TikTok are 17 seconds or less. And so the main thing about those videos, they want two things. They want the, the person who makes the video to appeal to an emotion. So for example, uh, you know, if you're an immigration attorney like, like me, I would, my most popular videos are videos that create an emotion like, um, oh, you won't be able to travel anymore after a certain date. Or, um, you, know, I've, you know, I've been illegal for 30 years and now I got my green card. So the emotion is the first thing. And the second thing is you wanna give something of value. So for example, oh, you didn't know that after May 23rd, you won't be able to travel without a real ID. Um, you know, to be able to get a green card after 30 years, he was able to, um, you know, get legalized because of the 10 year rule. Or something like that so you give so it's like the emotional hit the trigger something of value and make it interesting right meaning that they have to connect with you so they can watch more of your videos right because you know some of the if you go to the insights of TikTok, you can see um people watch videos and also i talk to people and i ask them how do they find me most people will find my videos they watch maybe maybe 10 to 20 videos after the first the first one right so if you want to be active on reels or TikTok you have to create more content so people can go and binge your content. They're gonna see one video, the next video, the third video, and all these videos should have a similar idea where you have an emotional connection. Most of my videos, they have like something funny, but also something of value, but also people remember, you know what I mean? So that's for short form video, Reels and uh, TikTok. Um, on Instagram, what I do is um, in the past six months, it's a lot of work in the DM. Because my content on Instagram, I post um, three times a week. It will be a, a reel, which is repurposed from TikTok, or sometimes a real reel that I'll do um, just for, for Instagram. I'll do uh, quotes and uh, images. But a lot of these things, they generate a lot of work in the DMs. Like right now, I have two VAs that help me go through all my DMs. We get about maybe um, 180 to 250 DMs a day just on Instagram. And that's people who come from different places. Some of them come from TikTok. Some of them come from YouTube. Um, in the past three weeks, uh, no, since February uh, uh, 20th, since the war started in Ukraine, I was on CNN, CNBC, Al Jazeera. Um, Al Jazeera called me. Can you imagine? <laughs> um, um, I was on ABC and ESPN national networks that started from two local stories that went viral. So I one of the stories was that I... I helped uh, a female that was breastfeeding a baby from Ukraine. They crossed the border with her husband. She was separated at the border. They took her to, to uh, detention and she had no connection with this guy for a week. And then we did a, a media uh, outreach to a local station. They, they broke the story and then that story became, uh, went viral and, and, and went nationwide. So in, in 30 days, I was on maybe 15 outlets and people started to reach out directly and say, hey, you know, we saw you on TV. Can you help my cousin? Can you help my uncle? Can you help my whatever? 
So that, that, that's that been really helpful. <clears throat> but I think Instagram is very difficult to grow right now or, or, or get any results, to be honest with you. I think the best thing to do on Instagram is Reels because Reels will bring people back to you and you can send them to other platforms. Um, but I think for me, Instagram is mostly the DM work. It's very good for DMs because you can um, really build a good, you can set up an automation there and you can do a lot of things uh, and I don't allow anybody to DM me on on TikTok. They all I send all of them to Instagram, and so um, and for YouTube, I would say uh, for YouTube, it's really a long term game. It takes a long time to build uh, anything on YouTube. So for my strategy on YouTube is to be consistent. Every week I will release three videos, and I've been doing this for the past four years. Every single Monday I record them. Every single week I release three videos, and that's really what happens and YouTube has become a really good uh, lead generation sort or lead source for us. Um, and um, so YouTube is consistency and of course following the trends, which is the uh, you know the um, uh, popular videos and what's trending to make sure that you get the most views and also get uh, uh, people to see you. Amazing. a lot of a lot of to impact there. So let me just to recap you now three integral parts of a good social media post is you need to invoke that emotion provide value and make sure it's in interesting at the same time, Right. which was, you know, um, the viral story that you shared with us had all those three in there, had a lot of emotion, had some value in there, and it was super interesting. So that's what made it so su successful. Right. Uh, out of those three that you did share, TikTok, Instagram, and YouTube, which one, if somebody could, you know, put in the same effort, which one would you say is the most useful for going forward? Um, I mean, to be honest with you, I think TikTok is really the best. And I know a lot of attorneys are not um, excited about it because they don't understand it. But once, the, the, but the attorneys that do uh, spend the time and they're willing to be open-minded about it, it's really, really worth it. And you can do it in any area, in any practice area. And I know family lawyers on TikTok. I know personal injury lawyers on TikTok, employment lawyers. Um, of course, a lot of immigration attorneys are on TikTok. Um, almost any area of law. It's, it's just that you have to 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 be open-minded and give it yourself three months. Because the reason I say three months is if you start the first 30 days, and that's actually based on a recent meeting that I had with TikTok um, at our recent um, creators meeting. They said that if you are trying to uh, um, get notice on the For You page, which is the, which is the um, uh, main area where people can see your videos, if you're starting out, you have to post six to eight short videos a day for the first 30 days now i know it's a lot but if you do that for 30 days and i think if you think about it you can sketch you, you can record um a 30 second one minute video on a sunday you can spend an hour on a sunday and, and record the whole week you can record about um you know let's say you know 50 videos a week on one day you can do it it's it's doable but if you do it for 30 days consistently i can almost guarantee that you'll start to be noticed on the algorithm and then you don't have to post six you can only post like let's say three videos a day but after after 90 days you can only post once at once a day i post once a day that's it you know and it's and gives me enough exposure and enough people to see me and and find my my videos and share them but if you want to make an impact invest in yourself for 90 days um and do it on TikTok because you can spend as much time as you want on instagram you're not going to make a dent it's very difficult to get noticed on Instagram, no matter how many followers you have, it doesn't matter. You know, it's just mostly for, you know, if you know if somebody sees you on other platforms and then they see you on Instagram and then they see you have uh, so-and-so followers, maybe yeah, it creates a little bit of, uh, uh, um, uh, what do you call it, social proof. Uh, and of course, you know, it's important to remember that there's a lot of um, uh, fake accounts right now, for, especially for following attorneys. And therefore, um, you know, those that can get verified, those attorneys that have media exposure, they'll get verified faster. And it's going to be harder to uh, for fake accounts to because that's a big disease on, on TikTok right now. Every like, I, every day I, I find 10, 15 new fake accounts. And what they do is they the idea behind it is that they, they troll the comments. They use a WhatsApp number and they want people to text them and then they try to scam them for money. And I had a lot of people call me and say, hey, you know, I, I, I thought it was you and I paid them for a consultation and they disappeared. You know what I mean? So that's why the verification is really important. If you can get verified and you want to be a creator, then it's going to be easier to to avoid the scams. Amazing. Again, a lot of value there being shared. So I'm going to break it down. Um, uh, actually, Elon Musk yesterday was on the All In podcast. Um, 
with Shamath the, the Batil and a couple of other guys. And he was actually for like 10, 15 minutes talking about Twitter's problem with what percentage of Twitter's uh, people on Twitter, their bots. So it seems like TikTok is dealing with the same issue. So what's right. the regimen? Uh, just to clarify the regimen for making successful on TikTok, six to eight uh, TikToks a day for 30 days or, or 90 mm -hmm. days? Yeah, for 30 days. Got it. And after 30 days? Um, I would say two, three a day for the rest of the two months. And then after three months, um, you can do just one a day and you're fine. And again, the, the reason is because you want the algorithm to be trained to know that you're a creator. TikTok values content. They want content. They want people to continue to create and they value educational content. So um, again, I, 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 I um, you know, I, I released a course on TikTok um i it's in, it's in beta right now and i'm going to start promoting it more in the next uh, few weeks but essentially it's just about the, the, the strategy behind posting and how to to get most value as a, as a lawyer because again the 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 reason why a lot of lawyers and you and you said it as well in, the, in a lot of your programs the reason a lot of lawyers are not successful or not able to move forward is because their mindset is the one that controls their success it limits them right so they're coming back to a market and say, oh, you know, I can't compete with these lawyers. They've been doing this for 20 years. I can't do it. Or they have a lot of limiting beliefs. And I think if you are in a situation where you want to, um, uh, to make a dent or try something new, I think TikTok is free and you can, you can just, it just costs you your time to do it.